It does look like Dale. It is Dale! Is Dale a rock star? That can't be him. Dale... D that, Dale from high school. Dale Headley. Yeah, who's always smoking in the, in the smoke pit. Look! It's Dale, man! He's even got the smoke! He does have the same smoke. No, wait a minute. That's Stevie Ray Vaughan. Are you sure? Because that looks just like Dale. That's Dale. You had me going for a sec. Nah, Stevie, that is Dale. That's Stevie Ray Vaughan. Why would Dale be on this poster that we've had for all these years? You know what? I got a bigger problem. Actually, if you blur your eyes, you can tell it's not him. Right. Yeah, that's not Dale. Yeah. Is that, like, is he related to Dale, though? Because are they related? Stevie Ray Vaughan and Dale? No. Dale's last name's not Ray Vaughan. Yeah, that doesn't mean they're not related. Could be Dale Ray Vaughan. I mean, it's not. It's Dale Headley. We knew that. Headley. We graduated with. I think the more important question for this is, why is Kurt Cobain not where Stevie Ray Vaughan is and way bigger? Oh yeah, it should be his face like in the middle, and then. Stevie Ray Vaughan and like the other guys, their little heads going around. Yeah, exactly. Just Kurt Cobain. And then maybe, maybe Dave Grohl. They really don't do Dave Grohl any justice, huh? Oh, he's hiding over there and he's got his short hair. Jesus Christ. That is not what Dave Grohl looks like. They put the Green Day guy bigger like than Dave Grohl. Gavin Rossdale, the Bush guy, is way bigger than Dave Grohl. See, I get it. Okay, so James Hetfield is kind of big. Tom Petty is kind of big. Marilyn Manson's a little way too big. Beck is a little too big. Yeah, that guy was yelling. Brian Johnson from ACDC. Oh, never mind. Yeah. It just doesn't look like it. Well, I mean, he's got the hat. He's got the hat. Yeah. Is, is his eyebrows are too bushy or something? Something about his eyes are too uh, squinty? Well, I guess he does squint his eyes when he's screaming. I think when you're singing falsetto, mm. squint in your eyes helps. Yeah. Yeah, but you couldn't do that with your eyes wide That's open. That's true. No, I can't. Yeah. Maybe I should try squinting when I sing. Really get up there. Yeah, now that you mention it, you've never squinted. I don't squint. I always go full wide open. Like, I, you know. So I can see my, my guitar and the audience, you know, I pretend, I imagine that they're there, even if they aren't. And that Brian Johnson, he's always teaching something. He's so smart. Even if he's not trying to. He's always a teacher, you know, I think I, I've actually heard that he's a teacher. Uh, he's quite a good teacher. Ah, no, wait, no, we're confused. It's because Angus Young dresses like a schoolboy. That's why I thought he was a teacher. Yeah. Okay. Right. So where's his schoolboy outfit? That's good. I can see the bony little shoulders. Yeah. Poking right out from his skeleton chest. Yeah. And his zombie expression. Zombie or wolf man? Well, it's not like a wolf zombie hybrid. Right, yeah. Zombie boy wolf. Right. No, yeah. uh, or, or, sorry. Where zombie? Yes, exactly. Thank you. That's it. Well, this is a cool painting. This is, a, I mean, drawing. This is a cool drawing. <sighs> Do you think the guy really drew it? No, with uh, no, the pencil. Maybe with uh, computer or um, Photoshop. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Because you could just... Why draw this if you could Photoshop it? Yeah. Maybe you can't Photoshop something like this. Well, you can take photographs and then, you know, if you have a shop, you could take a photo um, of the shop and then... You don't know the process. Photoshop. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I can imagine. How did, how did I don't you know. Learn? I haven't done it, but I can imagine. It's pretty simple. What I don't understand is why is Lenny Kravitz so big? I've never understood that. You know, how did he get so big to begin with? I think it's because his name sounds so similar to Jimi Hendrix. I think it was just a Jimi Hendrix ripoff. He's like, I'm going to take his style, I'm going to take his look, I'm going to take his sound, and I'm going to try to. <coughs> Get emotional when I talk about Jimmy. And why is Jimi Hendrix so small? It's, you can barely find him. This side, so this poster, 
It's supposed to be 1960 to 1980. And that poster is 1980 to 2000. This poster should be practically just the Beatles. And, you know, some Jimmy, Jimmy Hendrix can be second biggest after the four Beatles. And you should well, actually just be it should just be Jimi Hendrix taking up like the whole center uh, yeah. in the middle of an awesome solo probably with his guitar on fire yeah on fire rays of god rays coming out behind him yeah. and then uh, the rest of the guys kind of just all around that yeah what I want to know though is what's David Bowie thinking about he, he looks really deep in thought he's probably thinking about how on earth he's gonna write another song as good as uh, that Space Man one? What's that one called? Uh, yeah, well, Man, Man on the Moon. Space Man. Oddity. No. Yes, Space Odyssey. Odyssey. Oddity. That's the other one I'm thinking of. Remember? Space I, Odyssey was a movie, I think, about a monkey or something like that, and like a statue. But yeah, the the that was a good movie. I I mean that was a good song. As well, but the movie was also. Did you see that movie? Yeah, and you know what? He goes back in time, with it. or maybe forward in time. I I'm not sure. didn't understand one bit of that. Yeah, movie. me neither. All I saw it, lots of shiny stuff. Lights, all it is is showing this and then the spaceship for like twenty minutes. Yeah, and it's pretty happens. cool looking spaceship though. And like, there's also a very it's really cool dark rectangle uh, ship thing. Do you think David Bowie invented punk? Invented um, that look where you got one colored eye and then a different colored eye. Yeah, yeah, he did invent that. Yeah, yeah no one did that before no, he did. Nobody. I think that was by accident. He actually had an injury when he was a kid. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, and his eye. Uh, you can't just make your eye a different color. They had to replace his eye with somebody else's eye. Oh. And then that's why it's a different uh, kind of eye. I see. Alright, you're getting sidetracked. Because yeah. I want to talk about these pictures here. Where did you get these? Where do they come from? Why are they here? Who drew them? What are they? They were a Christmas present when I was 18, I guess. Wow. But I can't tell you who drew them. Oh, actually, no, I can tell you who drew them. It's the guy. He did a self-portrait of himself on both of them, actually. He's in that corner on that one, and that corner on that one. Oh, yeah, there's uh, Billy Corgan. Yeah, he's bigger than Dave Grohl. Yeah, he's uh, that's post hair Billy Corgan because he did have a little bit of hair when he first broke the scene, didn't he? Yeah, a little bit of hair, not very much. That's karma for saying that Kurt stole his sound. Mm. You'll never have long hair again, Billy Corgan. That's why you can never rock. God took it away. Yeah, the God of rock. Because you messed with something you should not have. You don't speak ill of the dead like that. Who's this guy there? At the very top? Yeah. No. With the long hair and oh. he's got the mic in his hand. Shannon Hoon. Don't know that. It's the guy from Blind Melon. Oh. He's dead now. And apparently he was quite the piece of crap. How in the hell is the Blind Melon guy bigger than Dave Grohl? Well, the same size, maybe. Oh, uh, he's bigger. They have more of his body on there. Everybody's bigger than Dave Grohl. He grows like just over in the corner there going like, ee, come on, come on, come on. All these Canadian guys are bigger than Dave Grohl. You got Gord Downey from Tragedy Hip. Ooh. Kim Mitchell. Hey, at least Nickelback's not on here. Yeah, that's a good thing. Although I really like that song. Um, it was day, it was one day. I don't really like that song. I love it. Who's blinder? Ray Charles or Stevie Wonder? It's a good question. I think we gotta ask them. We gotta put them in through a, a, a vision test. And then uh, whoever wins is definitely the better musician, I guess. There's the guy from Who's the Boss? Oh yeah! What's his name? John Candy? Tony Danza. Tony Danza. Yeah. Oh, look. Er Ernest goes to camp. Oh, yeah. Ernest, right beside, right beside him. They got two actors on this poster full of rock stars. Yeah, yeah. And then above him, you got uh, my nephew. No, that's Yoko Ono. Yeah. She does not deserve a spot on here. The most destructive of all groupies. 
Just a glorified groupie that just managed to get get inside. She was a lot more than his that. mind. There would and be no Courtney Love if there was no Yoko Ono. Hmm? Well, yeah. no, that's probably true. That's why we got to keep the girls away. Exactly. Yeah. So we we're done. If there was no Yoko Ono, John Lennon would still be alive. Yep. Kurt Cobain would still be alive. That's right. At least they didn't put Courtney Love on this thing. No, she is on there. I gotta burn these posters. Anyway, we're getting off track. Because uh, is Pink Floyd on here? Oh, she's black and white. Yeah, I, actually, I can't remember who that guy is. I gotta get the legend. Yeah, no, I know, I know him though. It's it's the guy from Pink Floyd. I definitely know it. I, and you know, I don't know his name. I can't remember his name. I don't use names where I come from. I don't need names. I just use faces. Boom. I don't think that system works. It does if you have the right roles. If you got all the faces in the roles and then you know where the roles are, you just keep track of the roles and you got one, two, three, four, five, you know, stack them. All uh, right, that's David Gilmore. Yes, I'm right, exactly, David Gilmore, that's what I said. Roger Waters right beside him. Water Rogers. I thought I was way better at identifying my 70s rockers. Yeah, well, I, I got a few tricks up my sleeve. Look how big Rob Zombie is there. He's huge. Rob Zombie, they say he's pretty much responsible for killing rock. That's a bit of an overstatement, though. I mean, really, what, what has he done? I'll blame him. Deep to the ditches and burn, to the witches and burn, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Yeah. See? Yeah. He couldn't save it. It wasn't good enough. Yeah, it was, it was kind of catchy, though. It was not bad. It's... He makes you think you're rocking out hard, but you're not, actually. Yeah, well, I... Yeah, yeah. He hates grunge, so he can kiss my ass. Oh, he does? Yeah. <laughs> Alvin Lee is bigger than Dave Grohl. What the hell? So he must have drawn this back in the, what, the 2000s when Dave Grohl was kind of like, oh, I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah, that's all it is. It just hasn't aged well. Dave Grohl is... The thing is, even in... This, this, this one came out around 2000. This one came out around 1990. Even when this guy made this poster, Dave Grohl was more famous than that. Yeah, but you know, Dave Grohl made the mistake of cutting his hair. If he hadn't cut his hair, he would probably be dead center right now. Yeah, I guess. That must be it. Because he grew it right back. And no, uh, that was a big mistake. The guy was done drawing by then. He was like, oh man, you should have kept that long hair. I would have put you in the middle there. And now, it's too late. If he redid this poster, it would be... Kurt Cobain dead center, and Dave Grohl right next to him dead center. Yeah. Same size, almost same size. Yeah. Kurt Cobain's head slightly larger. Well, Kurt, Kurt a little bigger. Kurt's the great one after all. Yeah. And then, uh, Bono not on there. Yeah, Bono not on there. The Edge, though, should probably be on there. <laughs> the Edge instead of Bono. You know, the, th the thing I, I like about The Edge all the time is that he looks really serious when he's doing it. He's not, he's not there to have fun. Yeah. He's, he's, there, he's, he's there to have a business. Yeah. He's there to take the fun out of it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. There shouldn't be fun in it. I can respect that. Yeah. I've done that before. Yeah. I, I try to do it and I can't. You know, it's hard actually. You know, but I, I'm not very good at that. Oh, I'm good at everything else. Well, long story short, it turns out that's not Dale. Yeah. So we can go back to Jam. I guess so, yeah. But I mean, man, it looks so much like Dale. It's still, maybe it's the spirit of Dale. Maybe, maybe Dale's spirit lives on. He didn't die. Yeah, I guess not. <laughs>